is called a dis-ease. You yeah, know, ease is no more. Because I'm going to say, boy, they are idiots, you know, man. And you're going to say, yo, you're a big place, you know, man. So guess what? A disease. Same thing with the human body. The human body needs mineral to rebuild your cells. The cells of the brain need potassium phosphate. The, the blood need iron phosphate. The bone need calcium phosphate. The muscle need magnesium phosphate. And all these are the phosphates that the body needs and sulfates to rebuild its cells. If you don't eat the nutrition or the minerals that the body needs, it's like you telling the man to build the house without cement. The body is crying out and it now becomes this ease. No more at ease. You are your body no friend no more. Because guess what? You want to eat what you want to eat. And you are Tell the body, literally, you don't know you're telling your body to build cells with that. Because guess what? That, that you feel for and you bad up your body until all one day your heart just get big so and rush and attack you. And you're lucky if you wake up from that attack too. You see? Because foolishness are going to the body, the body confused. Because guess what? You should have known that your brain needs potassium phosphate. Nobody never tell you that. You should have known. Don't say your heart is going to need magnesium. You should have known say your blood is going to need iron. You should have known my youth say your prostate gland going to need zinc. You should have known say you're going to need selenium. You should have known say you're going to need these calcium and things to rebuild the bones. You don't know. That is why this information that is dropping is very, very, very important. So it's not you. Oh, I'm going to eat what I want to eat, yeah, and do what I want. Yeah, go eat what you want to eat and do what you want, you know. But never forget the scenario with the man that you be, make, get to make your house and you're not giving him cement. And the same thing I go on in your body. Because your body going to rebuild the cells, you know. Because it has to rebuild. The body is going to rebuild the cells. And you know what happened to you sell them, just like how black them tumble down. The cells them warp. And when the cells them Warp, they lean up, and when they lean up, and this the disease come in. That is where disease come from. You're not getting the minerals to rebuild the cells, and also on top of that, what you're eating now is also acid. So the acid come and the cell membrane, him just eat them out and bust them up. But then lean up even more. Must get a judgment. Must get a you know. A disease in your system. There's no way you can escape. It's just a matter of time. No way. It's just a matter of time. God bless the one or two that escape. Don't watch the one somebody who lives till 100 and 200 and 500 and say, Where are you? Oh, boy, I'm in here. I'm going to I'm going to smoke three pack of cigarettes a day. Yeah, man. There was something that he did that maintained his life at that time. Or he was one lucky one. The human body does not work like that. You understand? Then it's one way to do this thing here. Yeah. It is acid and alkaline. The human body, God made us. God make us miraculously where our body can live in a state that diseases cannot live in. And we so were longer. made to live, hold on. We were made to live in an alkaline state that is a state that comes above seven on the pH chart between 7.325 7.345. Disease, cancer, AIDS, all these diseases does not live there. So that is the good thing. You can live there, but the disease can't live there. So how you get the disease? So you're going to roam down a disease zone, which is below a 7. And the people who are feeding you knows this. And if they want to kill you, to them do? Them just give the sweets to them, and yeah, man, it's nice, eh? Oh, I mean, like it. I'll go back tomorrow again. I mean, that eat it every day. Yeah, man, eat it, man. It's good for you, man. You know, so you're big and fat and strong. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a judgment, you know. They set it in a slippery place. Only the wise. Yeah, we are supposed to. Let's say a question about 50 times. Yeah. Simply attack. More than about 50 people are coming now. Mm. What are good things to eat? Yeah, you know, so never ask that. Now, good things to eat. We are talking about alkaline things. And footer. 
let's remind them, I know the first we are do this. This about the tenth live we are do. Yeah. And, and me, same one, come telling before COVID come, so the COVID that go come lick on The same Vaga where we talk about, Carl Vaga ask him, if you don't believe, I call Vaga one and a half year before COVID come, and I say, Vaga, write this down. He said, what is some teacher? He said this. I tell him, said this is for the plague where I come up on the earth. Right down the farm there. And when it comes, I'll give the people them this. And Mr. Vaga come out in a paper, Jamaica. Pete with people like for him see with that formula. When you hear we are running a promoter, we are talking, say, oh Jesus, oh, 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 them boy. Let me tell you something. I sit down in the New York, say put her here as my judge. And if put her in ever turn on the life there, people have to deal with the difference today. I'm going to tell you this future. And when you say, bye, bye, and Ray, everybody, people will slide down for the whole thing because Jamaican people are very superstitious. You know? The other man, the doctor, and the pastor run Jamaica people. Eh? And the whole of them come off a sauce story because the meaning of pharmaceutical in, is a Greek term. The meaning of ph pharmaceutical is sorcery. If they never know. The pastor, again, a sorcery. And the, the other man, we don't know that a science. Sorcery. You understand me? So, I and I sit down in a shop in a New York City. And I'm looking at the east. Just like what i here for the other thing, them, and the formula, them. The voice of the Almighty said to me, Congo. New York, I get earthquake, you know. The earthquake we shake at Jamaica, I tell you a long time about it, but the real deal, no clap it, you know. I just warm, got to warm them up here. And I me, me tell them about these things, and them think a joke. And when the Almighty tell me, say, earthquake, you know, Congo. He said, no, Father God, remember, say, and New York, me there, you know, and Jamaica or California, you know. He said, yeah, come on. New York, I get earthquake because me and God reason like brother, you know. He said, New York, I get earthquake, man. Mr. Father God, New York. He said, Yes, man. Mr. said, Right. He said, All right. He get up out of my shop and go next door. I used to have a shop next door. I said, No, yo, brother, you know, say, so you don't know me. But you're going to know me today. Listen this now. The Almighty just still said, New York, I get earthquake. He said, What? Man must say, I look for me like a mad putter. He said, What? New York, I get hurt. I say, yeah, man, God just tell me, man. He say, what the hell are you talking about, man? And I say, all right, relax yourself. You will see. You're going to know me. Futa. Thursday night, me and my bed. And I can't rest in peace. And if I say, call Futa and tell Futa, you have to go for life. Earthquake. I'm going to leave New York. And you say, oh, yes, say God. All right, we're going to go not tonight, though. We're going night tomorrow. And uh, next year, we'll go, we'll go for the life. Yeah. Now, you tell me if it's true, and me inner spirit never want to go live. It's like, it's like God never want to feel one everybody. Not, we, we feel that way because we never say it public and make everybody know and make them think that we're right. All right the, we the, the powers where we are spit off. The public think that we're right, but the Almighty never want it because me never feel it. Me never feel it for go live. You understand what I said? Yeah. And then it actually happened. The next, earthquake actually happened day, in New York. Yeah, next day. Next day, I am couldn't believe it. Because they say how much thousand years earthquake come in New York. Yeah, man. Next day, me in the, me in the, me in the, in the shop. I mean, they make some parts in the 10.30 bells. I feel the earth a shape. I'm say, Father, get a water. It's an earthquake. Man, run out of the shop. I say, Father, I joke you. He said, run out of the shop. I run out of the shop. He said, go out of the open. And I run and go downstairs. I said, nobody look no way. I said, wait. And what is? That nobody else will feel it. I lose me, I lose it. And what is? He said, go around the corner, go look. I go around the corner. I said, nobody will move no way. I said, wait. He said, go buy one water and another store. I said, catch me, you see, if nobody attack. I don't hear nobody at all. The Spanish youth today at the register. He said, yo, papi, you felt the earthquake just now, man? He said, damn, man, you felt it too? He said, 
puppy. I just went out my shop. I felt that like shit. He said, man, I was just telling my boy, I think I'm crazy. I felt an earthquake. I'm by my stomach outside. Me or a woman, I come up the road, I talk. I next woman, I talk. Say, oh, like, you know, my shit down in our stall. That I don't steer. You see, the youth, when we go tell, the same time when God tell me, say, New York, I get the earthquake. Boom, him call me phone. He said, yo, you have to give me the lock of number. How you could have known that? How who the hell do you know that? Me just tell my mom, say, the house is shit. Don't me just tell my mom, say, you tell me, say, New York, I go get earthquake. How you know? It is divine. We have to do them thing of where a youth footer. Some people that call over man, but we don't over man, we're bigger than that. We are over man. We deal with the man that is over man. Ask bagger one and a half year before COVID me gave him the formula. Before COVID come and tell him on this same life, yeah. So look here you now. The judgment are come. Two word. Two word man. You see? So, so we, so talk, go. we tell you that they, eh. them want them want uh, example of some Good food. I ta- me me tell them not them not them not care about the journey. You know? Me tell you all the while. You know? Yeah. Some of them but people we, them not care here, for learning. Look you know? here, footer. Stop this up. We still have to warn them because you remember when the Almighty sent Jonah and then if you go on and him not go on, me still have to do my part. You see, who have ears to hear? Let them hear. And remember again, footer is that everybody we come to see him. We cannot see everybody because some of them is what you call fuel for the fire. The fire is burning and it's a consuming fire. The fire have to kill some of them. It have to get rid of some of them. Babylon thing have to work. We now fight against Babylon thing, you know, because God give him power for doing thing. But there are people that is here that has to be seen. It's a shame this is much Rasta dead out of the thing. And the rest of them are cook these food and apply the people them. So anybody we hear can go go talk and tell them it's I Congo said God said to stop. Me tell you say Bob Marley grab me by my hand in the vision. One of the clearest vision I say come. Just give me a message to give you. What did Bob Marley die a foot up? But you remember when we come from jail when me tell us? Eh? Bob Marley tell us yeah Marcus yeah be the man. Okay, and when we tell them, so we talk to Bob and me and Bob with reason. They're like, ah, we have a chat to Bob. Yeah. 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 The mongo yeah. can't see the physical. Yeah, the mongo can't see the physical. They can't see the spiritual. Yeah. So it's easy. Luda Chris to them. Hold on, I'm going to say something to you. You see, all of them were hype up on the top, but Ray, Ray, Ray. You better believe in that spiritual and know it exists. I call it the toughest part right around here. The spiritual journey exists. You can't dead. You can only transform. But the problem is that when you transform, if you don't know yourself, it's like you have to go come back again and do this journey over and over and over and over. See? So when we say you can't dead, you can't dead spiritually. But you, your flesh, physical flesh, when drop before your journey is attained. No, but you remember I say, Congo, it's just yeah. that for humans to realize that they, they, they the body is actually useless you know the body don't exist without the spirit which is the injury right. so what happened now what them not understand the uncle time you're dead when the body can't go no more so the the, the spirit of a fine new housing i go back to when it yeah. came so God. yeah all who don't believe in the spiritual journey them don't believe that the ear where them are breathing because I don't think anybody that is taking a breath of ear right now see that ear that has been drawn in them nostrils. And it's the most important thing because you sit down right now, you're listening to this and all type of things going through your head. But think now, you just breathe. Try to stop breathing for 10 minutes and see what happens. It's like somebody try after your life. Stop your mouth and your nose from taking in that ear that you cannot see and see what happened. And then you will understand there is a different realm and there is a different world because very quick, quicker than even the poison of the food, you shall die if you don't get the unseen ear that you breathe. You see how unseen things powerful? Eh? Writing on a head top, Stop your breath, man. 
Do it for 10 minutes now. You can't even do it for one minute. Good. And you are gas. Congo, I think we're gone. I think we're going close to an hour now. And yeah. um, Make a wrap up. Them now I'm going to get everything in a one day. So, what I want you to do for them now is just give them an example of some good All things right. where they can yeah. use. Anything, them can link me from the Insta, see them here. See it? But, all right. Examples of good food. I'm going to talk to the rest of them right now. You see, instead of running the shop and I cook the brown rice and the whole wheat flour, cook quinoa to the people them. And wild rice is expensive, but life itself is expensive. You understand? Instead of using a big white Irish potato, use a small red Irish potato. Instead of using a whelp of pumpkin, use the butternut squash or the kabucha squash. The chocho and them thing there is good. Instead of using the cabbage, give the people them as vegetable. Give them some romaine lettuce or some callaloo. You see me? Instead of a blend of carrot juice and beetroot juice, you blend them some sour sap, some local cherry, get the almond off of the tree, cut the skin from the almond and blend it. And when you're blending them juice, don't leave out the sea moss because the sea moss have 92 to the 102 mineral that makes up the body. So the wild rice is good if you want to eat rice. The quinoa is good also like a rice. The kamut is good. You understand whether you want to eat it as kamut flour or cooked kamut. The spelt is good, whether you want to eat it as spell flour or cooked spelt grain. The rye is good, whether you want to eat it as rye flour or rye grain. The funio flour is a super grain. Dr. Sebi said best. I love it too. Well nice. Better than any type of corn corn meal. So all who love corn corn meals, funio is a very fine grain. Like so is corn meal a good thing or a bad thing? Corn meal is number one killer. Corn meal is poisonous. Corns are deadly. Do not eat these corns. The corns that they have in Jamaica now have an AK-47 in of them. They have a bus hole in your stomach. Because they engineer the corn them so much that when bugs eat them, it busts out the bugs to muck and kill them. They can't have more than one. And you, it is not going to do nothing different. You just want to eat enough of that stuff. So if you want to make some porridge, what would that be the best good thing for you to right. make some porridge? Beautiful. You want to make some porridge? You get the froggy banana with them called White House, so nobody know wants to see them take seed hard. Right? The one where I grew wild up in the bush there, St. Thomas or St. Mary or Portland. See? You get that, you blend up that with some nice Irish mash again from out of St. Thomas, the purple Irish mash. You go and blend up also some walnuts and some Brazil nuts. Right? No peanuts, because peanuts are poison. So all these men bought them peanut punch. Peanut punch don't give you no stamina, man. Peanut punch, you load your body up with acid and mucus in your head. Kill it with science. So what so about cashew? Cashew also is poison. Load, load the body with acid. But it's one of them. Yeah. Chip out Congo. Cashew is loaded with poison also. Because cashew is acidic. Very acidic. All right. Um, bam, bam, bam. So, the flour, if you want to make dumpling, you make spelt flour dumpling. If you want to make dumpling, you can also use rye flour or kamut flour. You see what I say? Um, if you want to make banana, want to teff flour, teff flour, yes, you can use teff flour. You can eat the teff grain. Um, you if you sweet the porridge, you use agave or you can blend the dates in the porridge and sweeten it. See, you can get the native coconut milk when the porridge soon done. You have to throw some of my milk in it and lock it off. See, but the walnut and Brazil nut by itself are milk stuff. See, the walnut loaded with potassium phosphate, which is brain food. The Brazil nut loaded with selenium and zinc, the man with prostate problem. The selenium and the zinc is very good for the prostate. And the the Irish mash in the parish now have 92 minerals, but it don't have no iron and certain other little things. These are the things where we add to it, make this porridge complete. This porridge a boom. I got the rest of them for cook a man in time. Stop cooking on me, porridge. Stop making gross Mitchell and Lakatan banana, porridge. Stop drinking oats. Oats is deadly and it is poisonous. Understop it. Don't blend no oats 
and no condensed milk and no lasco and no egg and no peanut it is deadly cartel sing a song say um he might go blend up the oats and the nutmeg doctor say if you say a great one nutmeg and put it in the water and drink it it kill you instant it's a deadly poison yeah break up congo yeah break up man i hear you man oh yeah. yeah hear me repeat what you just say repeat what you just sing a song when you say you blend up your oats and your dot and your dot and your peanut and ray 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 and the nutmeg and thing not mega poison doctor see if tell me if you're greater it's not mega put it in the water and you drink that that thing is going to kill you instant all the man in where I smoke all the grab a weed and all them thing they lift out grab out of your weed brother because grab again is deadly poison you understand me so don't blend up no oats and no milk and no supplicant and no peanut and them them thing that deadly poison if you want to blend up a juice you bring up your wall, not your Brazil, not your CMOS, your hemp seed, your, you know, and these things. Who want the link, them can call further because we can't give them everything as Bujumanta they tell me. When them come to you, you're telling them too much. But guess what? Bujuman you know, understands the work may I do. So I still have to tell them some amount to make them leave. If them want to come spend the money, it don't matter to me. If them don't want to come spend, it don't matter. But at least I did my job. I gave them the message. Bob said, Jack, give me a message for give you, for tell the people. That is what Bob Marley tell me. He grab me by my hand and push the zinc fence. And this is the message that I have. Rasta, don't poison yourself and poison off the people. Them. As me said, enough little data from the little uptown settings. We see them come and them neatly dress and them look nice and thing. And them come a Rasta man thing. Even though Rasta man thing, calabash up and a little zinc thing. Them want to so them want do official thing. Them want to do a, a little healthy thing. And when them come, it's poison and that style where Babylon set the thing to poison the people and that style. So the vegan. And the meat eater live the same lifespan because guess what? The human body does not care where the acid coming from. Acidosis is acidosis. And if your acid is coming from eating pork, beef, or chicken, or eating brown rice, whole wheat flour, aki, tofu, so um um what them call it, the pineapple juice, beetroot juice, acid is acid. Your body is going to see this acid as acid and it's going to deal with it accordingly. Your blood pH is going to go below 7. The body is going in acidosis and disease will live in your body. So, vegan eating, once you're eating hybrid vegetable nuts and grains and pork and meat eating, chicken and beef and ray, ray, ray is the same eating. Scientifically, it is the same eating. All this to say, yo, you know, some man a rasta man now, and I'm broke. Hold on, Congo. Hold on, yeah. Congo. Yeah. Congo, hold on, please. I have to read that comment here. Mm. The comment said, this guy is very, very good. He worked on me before, after multiple miscarriages, and now, and low iron. And as a result, regular iron level, and three kids, including a twin, Congo is the yeah. best. Yep, yeah, I ask that I hold them tap in. Me never know so them I hear it. And I will eat more woman and I will make it fit me. Hey, you see this girl? I'm going to tell you her story. When she tell me, I'm a bread you know, man, you know. And me, don't me shout. Man, go Congo, don't man. shout. Because when they shout it, I check the iPhone. Yeah, me not I like you. iPhone in them. Yeah, man, that's where it go. But the message of the reach. I'm a bread you know, man, you know, I care about a doctor for this thing. And the message of the reach, the Congo, man. Because she can't have no... Still a breakup, still a breakup, still a breakup. Yo, I'm a brethren woman, as me say, and he's been carrying her to the doctor for care and getting pregnant. No, well, she get pregnant, but she don't can't keep the fetus. And I'm going to explain this to you. Maybe this is the last thing we get to do. And foot up. When he bring her to me, I'm look for the case. First, I wrote it. You know, see what happened? After three months, the fetus dead. I said, girl, come and go to the supermarket. I'm going to walk through the supermarket. I'm going to tell her what happened. And she said, come, but that makes sense, you know. I said, look here. The fetus is aborted after two and a half, three months. Why? The human body, when it has been developed, that is why no woman after them have pity them kind of mad. Why? Because nature, life, whether it be a plant or a human, when 
it gives birth. The plant.